And John picks up the story and focuses on Mary Magdalene and what she experienced as she went to that tomb that day. As it says, early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the entrance. And that was one of the questions that the women had as they were going to the tomb that morning. They had spices and they were going to put these spices on the body of Jesus. But one of the questions they ask is, who's going to move the stone for us so that we can get in? Well, God had arranged that. An earthquake had come. Angels came down, rolled the stone away. The Roman soldiers who were there, they were fearful of what was going to happen to them. They looked at this experience with dread and here Mary comes up and they see the stone and wonder must have filled her thoughts and mind. So she came running to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one Jesus loved and said, they have taken the Lord out of the tomb and we don't know where they have put him. It's interesting that that was her conclusion. They've taken the Lord's body and we don't know where they have put him. Jesus had told his disciples what was going to happen. He was very clear. He had told them on seven different occasions. And that message started to spread among the followers that Jesus was going to go into Jerusalem. He was going to be handed over to the leaders. He was going to be tried. He was going to be beaten. He was going to be mocked. He was going to be scourged. They were going to put a crown of thorns on his head. He was going to be crucified. They were going to drive nails into his hands and his feet. And he was going to suffer and die. And then on the third day, he was going to be raised to life. Jesus had told his disciples that very truth. He didn't hide it. He didn't try to make it a mystery. He just laid it out there, plain and simple, clear. And Mary must have heard that. She had been a follower of Jesus. She knew what was going to happen. And yet when she went to the empty tomb that morning, she said, they have taken the Lord out of the tomb and we don't know where they have put him. She didn't quite yet get the message that this Jesus was going to be raised to life. 